What's up everybody, Jan Ditters here, back with another tutorial video. In today's video I'm going to show you guys how this number 2 is created. It's basically been created in Illustrator and in Photoshop. And I'm going to show you how. So let's dive right into Illustrator. I've opened an uh, artwork which is 1080 by 1080 pixels. And I'm going to first drag some lines with the rectangle tool. Give these lines a black fill color and make some copies out of them by dragging it with holding shift and option to the bottom side. And then press simply on command D a few times to copy the same rectangle okay so for now we are going to fit this one into the artwork and we want to make sure we leave a little bit of a white white space open on the top okay so select all the lines press on command c open photoshop I have the same artwork open in Photoshop as well. This is also 1080 by 1080 pixels. And press on command V to copy the lines in the Photoshop document. Okay, press on this V on the top and make sure the lines are aligned to the bottom of the artwork. Okay, again, go to Illustrator again, delete those lines, press on the typography tool click once and we are going to create in my example the number two select the number two press on command shift and O to create outlines of it press on the direct selection tool and select the anchor points and we are going to drag these edgy corners a little bit in to make them rounded select the number two again and make it a little bit bigger by scaling it up. Okay, press on command C, go to Photoshop again, press on command V, and paste this in the Photoshop document. Press on this V again on the top, and now we are going to scale it down a little bit. Press on command T, and scale it down without holding shift. Okay, we are going to give this number two a white fill color, but first click on the right mouse button and rasterize layer. Go to the FX in the bottom, click on it, click on color overlay and make this a white color. Press on OK and on OK again. Go to filter, go to blur, Gaussian blur, and set the radius to 25 pixels. Press on OK. We are turning off the visibility of the lines for a second. Go to the first layer and give this first layer a black fill color. Okay. So we are going to rotate this number two as well a little bit. And press on the V again. And now we are going to save this file as a displacement. We are going to call it displacement S. Save it and we are going to use it later. Turn off the visibility of this number two. Turn off the visibility of the first layer and now turn on the visibility of the uh, black stripes. Select this layer as well. Go to filter, go to distort, displace. Set the horizontal scale to 70, the vertical scale to 70. Displacement map on tile. Undefined areas on wrap around. Press on OK. And now we are going to select displacement S and click on open. And this is how you can create wrapped 
forms, shapes, letters, numbers in black stripes. What we can do now is give it a white background color so you don't see the transparent boxes behind it. Okay, and what I did in this example is I've added in Photoshop shadows around it. So the number two really pops out this way. So I hope you guys learned something. If you did, please drop a like, follow the channel, and I see you in the next video. Peace.